I've been asked multiple times, why don't I actually do our programming workshop online? So I actually did a small one last year in Ambis, but it's hosted in the time zone that I'm in, and it's also relatively small scale and it's paid. So I understand that most people will not be able to attend. But for those that are that are looking for our courses online to attend, this is a few recommendations that I do. So before I make a recommendation, just a few key points of how I choose them that has to be structured they have to be recognized and they have to be free to actually explore all the content. It doesn't matter if I don't get certified, just so that we can filter off like YouTube videos I make. So the first start I'll recommend is actually edX, edX.org. So I would say that they are actually hosted by multiple recognized and established institutions like Stanford, Harvard, Berkeley, and Boston University. So they are very well structured, they're hosted and instructed by very famous people. For example, this R Programming Fundamental is instructed by Susan's home which is a professor of statistics in Stanford University, and that include how to install and download R, how to actually import data into R, how to manipulate them, actually visualize them. So beside R programming fundamental, you can also take something like statistic and R, who is actually hosted in this case by Michael Love and Rafael Izzari. So Michael Love is actually the maintainers and the creator of DSEC2 for those in the bioinformatics world. And again, they also have a lot of very well structured courses. And beside the theory of those programmer, the actual, they actually require to go through a workshop that you have to actually learn by actually doing programming in R. Okay, so beside edX, I also recommend Data Camp. In this case, you can go to Introduction in R to actually start your free courses. Again, everything is free. You only pay if you need a certain certification. So they also have Introduction to Basic, Factors, Data Frame, and Listed. So uh, Data Camp is slightly different for edX. There's no theory video they have to watch. Almost everything you just go in and you read the instructions and you follow instruction and you try to again learn by doing. So something very similar is actually called Academy, where you can actually go in and just learn everything by doing just that uh, in Data Camp and I believe Code Academy, you actually do R on their website rather than your own computer. So the way of doing it is slightly different. And if you do want to know how to install, I will say edX is a better um, starting point on this way onwards. So again, all three of them are free and they're available for anyone that is in need and you can just use it on any kind of, uh, you can also learn it with your own pace and you don't have to follow exactly as per their schedule. Okay, so for those that are slightly more advanced have finished all three courses you understand everything uh book down website is also a way to get amazing resources on our programming for example i recommend here on hands-on programming in r for people that just finished those three courses and need something a little bit more advanced and you can actually go to for example what is uh what is the s3 object what is the loop what are some speeds and what are the packages and how to write one and you can also get r for data science understanding some what is the tables what is a factor what is alliteration and some basic model viewing. You can also go to text mining in R. So there's a little bit more machine learning and understand the use of machine learning and different tools in machine learning, such as Keras, TensorFlow, Torch, and all the other stuff. And again, if you are not satisfied with that, you can also go to our graphic cookbook. In this case, the second edition by Winston Chang, where you can actually just try to make any kind of uh, graph you can in R. And if you're not satisfied, there's also the last one called Efficient R Programming on how to actually make your code faster, more efficient, and is able to run better in lower end hardware. And for those that have done all of that, come back to my video that's, of course, every single specific packages such as complex heat map, such as Markov models, such as um, many other like Surat that you can actually explore. So I, I would say that is a good pipeline for anyone just starting up with our programming. And I hope that you can actually go through the process. And I, again, myself do not have a certified degree or kind of um, courses or certification in R. I kind of learned all of that through all this free resources online and I hope that you can do the same and I just want to help. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.